All right, so thank you very much for coming today. My name is Thomas Howe, and this is the uh, Voice Mashup and Business Model Panel. And uh, I don't know if you have the same feeling I do, but I feel like I've spent the whole day hearing questions from the audience about, well, what's the business model for Telco 2.0? What's the business model for all these neat new applications? And I can already tell you, because I know the members of these, this panel here, that there are some fantastic business models that I think that you ought to hear about if you haven't heard of them before. So one of the things I want to do real quick is to sort of define for you what a voice mashup is, because I don't want to spend a lot of time on that. I'd like to sort of gloss over that just for a little bit and talk about business models. But for the purposes of the conversation, voice mashups are an application that is written on top of other services, usually involving APIs somewhere, that integrates voice with something else that makes that something else more valuable. Okay? That's my general definition of voice mashup. So first, I'd like to introduce our panel here. And I'll start from the way far end with Brent Decay. Brent, could you just introduce yourself real quick to the audience, please? So I'm Brent Decay. I'm VP of Professional Services with, with Backflip Software based out of Houston. Cool. Great. Thank you. Bill? And I'm Bill Binnig. I'm the CMO with Juduka in Dallas. Hi, I'm Turaj Parang, uh, co-founder and chief operating officer of Jackster, startup based in Menlo Park. And good afternoon. I'm Irv Shapiro. I'm the CEO of If By Phone. If By Phone is located in Chicago. Great. Um, out of curiosity, um, who in this audience knows every last one of these companies? Wonderful. Good. Great. Good. All right. Okay. So. Um, First of all, I want to start with some softballs for you, the audience, and for here, the panel, about business models and voice mashups. Um, and I think there's, there's common agreement for those of us who work in this area that enterprise and, and business process is a very attractive and lucrative area to find great business models for voice mashups. I think that's fairly well understood. Um, by by this panel here. So what I want to do is I'd like you to go down the line, um, if you would, and please give us um, f a general idea. In fact, we'll start with Irv and go backwards. That way we'll, we have conservation of microphone. Um, uh, where, where, where we talk about, please give us a great enterprise voice mashup example, if you've got one. And then if you would give a very specific example that your company hopefully will do or something that you've ever heard of. And I know in a way that Jackster is our, our consumer uh, representative here in a way, which is really fantastic. So I'll give you a, a pass if you want it, but, but take, take the shot if you do. So Irv, give us some great examples, please. If by phone provides a telephone application platform um, specifically focused on the SMB. Yes. So I'm going to give an, an example from the SMB marketplace, from the small, medium-sized business marketplace. We have a number of organizations that are partners of ours that are in the lead generation business. What they do for a living is they do the marketing for small and medium-sized businesses. A very s typical example would be if you own a couple auto dealerships and you want more people to come into your showroom, these companies um, manage the marketing process. They'll run television ads, they'll run newsprint ads, they'll do direct mail campaigns, they'll do email campaigns, they'll create websites for you. Historically, when these people ran campaigns, they would often offer a toll-free number. And that toll-free number would ring somewhere, a single somewhere. At If By Phone, we provide these lead generation organizations with smart toll-free numbers. So when these toll-free numbers ring, they do a web service call to a web infrastructure that the lead generation organization provides based on location information, based on um, potentially an interactive IVR that they configure from a website, we pass information to the web lead generation organization, and they can make an informed decision of where that lead goes. Now, the way these organizations measure success is by the number of people that dial the number 
and then stay on the line long enough to pay for for to uh, to talk to somebody on the other end. So in general, they're finding that historically their success rate is about 25 percent. Only about 25 percent of the people that call a toll-free number as a response of a lead generation campaign stay on the phone until they talk to someone to a salesperson. By using our technology and interacting with the consumer beforehand, they're able to increase that to 75%. Nice. So by increasing that to 75%, they're able to sell these leads to the auto dealers as premium leads, and they can charge more money per lead. So that's a good example of the integration of web technologies and voice technologies, in our case, um, automated voice response technologies. Perfect. Great. Thank you. Okay, well, if we can talk about SMBs, uh, I can give you an example yes, about Jackster. Sure, um, please. So, uh, in the case of Jackster, yes, we are a direct to consumer company and uh, we're basically combining your telephony with the web experience. And the way we do that is uh, one way we do that is uh, through these widgets uh, where you can embed these widgets anywhere on any kind of web platform be it on your blog or your social network page, or in case of some SMBs like real estate agents, they put it on their listings, for instance. They, they can either put a widget there or put a link there, a URL with their name on it. And uh, what happens is that when someone sees that listing for the real estate agent, they can click on the link or click on the widget, and the person who, who is the visitor to that page, their phone will ring through our technology and the phone of the real estate agent would ring depending on their settings. If the real estate agent sets up uh, certain preferences and says, hey, for these people, direct the phone to voicemail, we could do that. Or they, if they're ready to take the call, they can take the call. And we found that real estate agents in particular are very interested in this technology because when visitors visit their listings, they are in the click mode and uh, a phone number doesn't have as much of a conversion than a click for them. So um, that's an example of a mashup there. Excellent, perfect. All right, Bill. Okay, so my favorite general example, I guess, is a couple years ago my phone rings and it's my credit card calling saying, um, Mr. Binnig, did you happen to make $3,000 worth of purchases at Sunglass Hut? And then travel to Seattle or some intimate apparel? Uh, well, no, I didn't, in fact. And so fast forward to today, and there's a financial services company uh, with network television ads where the guy is playing James Bond and his cell phone rings and he's driving his car to catch the bad guys and his wife then taps him on the shoulders after he crashes through the window and stops the guys. And uh, What are you doing? Well, I just stopped someone from using my credit card because what had happened was the guy's profile had been set up so that he got a notification to his phone when there was a suspicious transaction to his card. And so this is a great example of a, of a enterprise mashup using voice technology where a credit card company can set up a profile to notify me as a consumer when someone is making a transaction above a, a set limit. So let's say I set $500 for myself. I want to be...